so far this is how it's looking. It could either be this way on the front. You can't see how long it is, it's quite long. And I'm gonna add ribbing so it's gonna be even longer because he likes to wear like extra large and stuff. And then it could also be worn this way with this as the front. Well, I've finished one of the sleeves. Here is what the sleeve looks like. So as you can see, lots of decreases. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really bad at showing these things. So yeah, now I just have to add the other sleeve and then we'll be done with this one and I can work on my mom's sweater. I suck with updates, but I have now finished the sweater minus ribbing. I'm gonna add a few inches of ribbing on the sleeves, the bottom, and then just a little bit on the neckline because when I um, did the decreases for it, I decreased too much because I think it'd be too tight if I went all the way on both sides because it was really tight for me to get on and my dad's head is bigger than mine I think so yeah I'll have to add ribbing to like make that so it's not <laughs> weird looking. I decreased the sleeves because he doesn't like big sleeves and yes and also it's reversible. What is the reverse side? Isn't it quite spectacular? It's backwards in the mirror but in person it's forwards but yes hopefully it's long enough but I will be adding ribbing to make it longer. I quite like it. I'm gonna be making myself a similar sweater quite soon, once I finish Christmas gifts. I am now making ribbing for the cuffs, the bottom, and the collar. This is gonna be for the cuffs, because I think I wanna make it for the bottom a little bit bigger, just so it's longer, because I don't want it to be short on my dad. That'd be weird. I like to make ribbing by just doing half double crochets in the back loops. And this is what it looks like. I'm obsessed and it's so stretchy, so good. Now that I think about it, I'm on the fourth Percy Jackson book and I started listening to the first one when I started making this sweater. And I really only listen to it when I am crocheting or when I'm walking somewhere. Six, seven, eight, nine. It's definitely been a minute and that's not even including the random YouTube videos I also watch when I make things. So it's taking longer than I thought. I'd say, I can't even like think about how many hours this has taken me. Probably around like 17. I'm gonna wear it though. I'm probably gonna finish this today or tomorrow. Well, probably tomorrow, I'm being realistic. I might wear it on Thursday. And that's when I see my friend who is kind of cute. <laughs> Maybe he'll say something about the sweater and I'll be like, yeah, I actually made it. Doubtful because I've worn things that I've made and no one has said anything, but could, could be. I keep like, seeing all these YouTube videos about people like starting their cute little brands and I'm like, should I? <laughs> should I do that? It'd be so much work, but like, low key. But their stuff is so cool and I'm, it just inspires me so much. Anyway, thinking about that, starting a little store, sewing and crochet. I don't know, let me know if you guys <laughs> would buy anything. Obviously, I'd have to figure out the prices to make it worth the time that I put in, but also make the product worth the money that you're paying. I don't know, we'll see. Nothing beats the vibe more than... Wait, what did I just say? There's nothing that beats the vibe <laughs> of wearing the sweater you're making while doing the ribbing. Just added the ribbing on to the sleeves. It kind of looks a little funky to be honest because the ribbing is like the same size as the sleeves but I didn't want it to cinch in because I don't think my dad likes that but now I'm working on the bottom ribbing so can't wait to be done with this so that I can just start working on other things get them done so then I don't have to worry about making things for people anymore and I can just make things for myself because I'm a selfish person just kidding I mean I would hope I'm kidding don't think I'm a selfish person. Can we talk about The Bell of Sunford and Snakes? Such a good movie. The book was so good and the movie was so good. I'm obsessed. Like it's, it's getting ranked pretty high up in my list of Hunger Games movies. I'm quite excited for the new Percy Jackson show that's coming out and that's why I'm rereading the whole series. I read them all when I was in middle school, so it's been a minute, but I'm on book four and I quite am enjoying it. So cute. 
cute. I'm wearing it to school today. Although I did this afterwards, I did get my mom to measure one of his sweatshirts and it is the right length and the sleeves are going to be long enough. I feel like I'll be making Christmas presents until the day I die. It's gonna be a minute for sure. And I still have finals and so much like homework and deadlines and projects and papers and it's just crazy. I'm using small yarn because she really liked, I made um, a blue one, a pink one, this purple, and I made a green star one and she really likes the small yarn. And I started this actually in October. I was like, I'm gonna just start this now to get ahead of myself. And then I decided that I didn't want to work on it, and so I did so many other projects instead. But when I started, I had the base up until like, I think here, and then, so I did that much. And then today I've done this much. But she really likes colors and like colorful stuff. So I'm just using a bunch of random like scrap small yarns that I got at the thrift store because my yarn thrift store has so many secondhand little yarns which I love because I like doing little yarn projects. I just always underestimate how long it'll take me to do. So mom, if you're watching this, be grateful. It's because I love you, so. She's not gonna wear if it's cropped and I'm gonna have to at least double it. And this has taken a crazy amount of time. It's just a, a lot going on right now, but I, I have faith in myself. <laughs> I could be severely underestimating or overestimating my abilities most likely overestimating. That's another thing is I have to work too. So it's like the time to like make this stuff is running out. I'm gonna go to bed soon. It's kind of getting late. Me and my roommates may are making this playlist of like songs that we wish a guy would sing to us or like a playlist that we wish he would make us or whatever. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know because I need to grow this playlist. Right now it's at like two hours and we like need to aim for like stuff so I am definitely gonna have to add more rows but it's it's a good progress so far however I started today I think right after this like pinkish row and did here up the issue is that these 13 rows took me five hours and with some other math that means so far this whole thing has taken me 15 hours and it's not even done yet and I have to make a back panel and two sleeves. So that's several hours of my life that I could be studying for finals. I like the colors. My mom's a very colorful person, so I do think she'll like it. I'm not sure about this blue though. The blue's kind of funky, but whatever, it's fine. I'm not going back now. Oh, yes, the five hours wasn't nonstop. Like I did take a few breaks and scroll on my phone and stuff, but still five hours is five hours. Like that, so that was a quite big chunk of my day. Aren't they so cute? I basically have a laptop that keeps getting little like dents on it, so I'm gonna make a laptop case out of this really cute scrap fabric that I found at the fabric thrift store. It's just floral and cute, and I bought some quilted batting or like batting for quilts to like make it quilted. I saw another YouTuber, um, Eleanor's Diva, I think. I don't know how to say it, but she's amazing, and I saw her make one a couple days ago in one of her recent videos, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> Just for funsies. I have my square. I'm just gonna add lines up and down to make it quilty vibe.
update, I have the pouch mostly done, um, but I'm gonna do a lining as well, and I'm also putting a thing on top and a little button, if I can figure out how to make a buttonhole. <laughs> we shall see. This is what the top of the strap looks like, or not strap, I don't even know, cover? That's what it looks like so far. I'm just now making the lines. See how this one has like, their squares, little grid. That's what I'm gonna do for this as well. I have all of these super cute buttons and I picked out this one that I'm probably going to use because look, it's a cute little heart. I don't know, I think it's cute. I added these straps so I can make it like a crossbody and I tie it in a bow for that. It has the cutest little heart button detail. Love it. And then if I don't want to tie it to straps, I can tie a bow on each side. Let me do that real quick. It just has these cute little bows and if I don't want the tail, I just tuck it in. Now boom, it's just got these little, little bows. So yeah, it's not so cute, I'm obsessed. Or if I just, if I don't want them, I don't want the ribbons at all. If I don't want to tie them, I can just tuck them into the bag. And now it is again, just a regular laptop holder. It's so cute, I'm obsessed. Also, I made a dress for my friend yesterday. I don't really have a video of it, but I have a picture. I will insert that here. It's so cute, the fabric is so pretty, so fun to work with. It was like really silky smooth. And the color on her just looks so good. She just looks so good. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna definitely make one for my sister. Probably the same-ish pattern. And then one for myself as well. Kind of obsessed. Okay, so man, I look funk like It's been a minute since I have given you an update. I did have to make a little project for my um, English class and I decided to crochet it and it's about Narnia. So if you've read The Last Battle, there is a donkey who dresses up as Aslan, which is a lion. And yeah, so that's what this is. It's this really horrendous looking donkey. <laughs> that was my presentation. I showed it today and everyone loved it. So we're chilling. That laptop cover, it was a little present for myself. And this I am actually gonna send probably without the scrunchie to my friend who is living in Kansas, um, just with no context and I think she'll enjoy it. But I made this front panel um, and I started the back panel. <laughs> I always underestimate the sleeves. They always, um, they, they get me. I did finish the Percy Jackson series, all well, the first series. I finished the first five books. I'm gonna read The Lost Hero in that series again as well. But before I do that, I had uh, The Curse for True Love on hold. It's the third book in the um, uh, Once Upon a Broken Heart series by Stephanie Garber. And I loved the first two books. They were so very good. So finally, my hold came through. And so I'm listening to that now. I'm about an hour and a half in. It's pretty good. Although there's some characters that are just horrendous. Right now, I'm not seeing the character that I want to see because just hasn't shown up yet. You don't even want to hear about books, most likely. I do. I quite enjoy books. I love when people talk about books because it gives me some recommendations. So, oh, if you have any recommendations, please, please share with the class. I'm just gonna crochet for a little bit and then eat dinner. It is like seven and I have not yet eaten dinner and I am quite hungry. I do not yet know what I am going to eat possibly macaroni. I'm running out of milk and milk is useful to me because I eat a smoothie bowl almost every morning. So I probably need to go buy more milk. And I'm almost out of frozen strawberries. The amount of smoothie bowls I consume on a regular basis is actually quite concerning. The good thing is that it's pretty healthy because it's just like fruit and milk and granola and honey and sometimes little mini dark chocolate chips. But that's it's just like the amount that I'm eating is probably overconsumption of smoothie bowls. That's that's my whole update. It's a really long update that you probably don't care about at all. Oh, whoa, wait, no, I have a full on story for you. I don't know. I don't know how. OK, it's last week was a week. That's for sure. It was a week. There's this boy and he is 
very attractive in my opinion follow me on instagram and i was like okay slay like that's like a step forward in the right direction and i was very happy about that and so i followed him back you know whatever on monday i am <laughs> scrolling on instagram and he had posted and i was with my roommate and i was like oh like look this is his instagram because i hadn't showed shown her his instagram yet so we go on his instagram and we're kind of just like looking at the recent posts you know like, I feel like this is a pretty normal, like, common experience, especially for girls. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I, I, maybe I'm exposing myself here, but I typically do some pretty extensive research on people. We liked the photo. I don't know how, because I didn't, like, purposely do anything about, like, I don't know, I, whatever. So I was like, okay, I'll just unlike it immediately, we're good. Because, I don't know, like, usually Instagram, like, it'll have a notification, but it'll go away once, like, you unlike it, like, after they open the app. Like, I don't know, it's this whole thing. And he had just posted, so I was like, it'll get lost in the likes from other people on this recent post. I finished the row and I don't have scissors, so I'm just gonna continue to speak before I go get the scissors. That night, I'm laying, laying in bed and I'm like, okay, maybe I should just, like, test this real quickly just to make sure that he can't see the notification anymore. So I text my friend and we're like, okay, hey, let's just like redo exactly what I did. I'll go back. I'll like one of your old pictures. You tell me if you can see it. And so I do that. And when I do that, Instagram is like, hey, you can go to your recent activity and you can see what posts you've liked and you can unlike things there. And I'm like, oh, okay, perfect. I was just like a little curious. I was like, let's just see what posts I've liked recently, you know, for just for funsies, you know? Um, see that I had liked not one, not two, not three, but at least four. It could have been five of the boys photos from like three years back like that when i saw that i died inside so i unlike all the photos which i probably shouldn't have done because like now like he obviously has seen it it's very obvious that it's happened but uh, now that i've adequately embarrassed myself i'm gonna go and make macaroni <laughs> so my brother got married recently and well both of my brothers got married but one of them will not be at christmas because he's gonna be at christmas with his wife and her family um so i'm actually seeing him this weekend and i haven't started the present that i made for him and his wife yet so i'm currently making that they as i just said got married very recently in october in um a temple which is kind of where people in my church get married and it's just really pretty buildings and i was just thinking for their gift i was going to make them well I, I am making them a tapestry of the temple that they got married in so they can like hang it up put it in a frame i don't know whatever they want to do with it doesn't really matter to me much after it's out of my possession but yeah so i'm not very skilled at tapestries <laughs> I have made one for my parents in the temple they got married in. I, for some reason, decided I didn't want to plan this at all. And so I'm just going for it with like literally no graph or like anything. So also the colors keep getting tangled and I just makes me feel like angry. Uh, right now, this is what it looks like. It's the bottom of the temple. It's like really hard to see the vision, but I promise hopefully it looks good later. This is a couple months ago. Um, it's of a different temple. But yeah, this one I only used the blue and the white because it's a simpler temple. But this one has like shading as well as windows, whereas this one was mostly just windows I had to worry about. Don't you just love the sweater? I do as well. I'm obsessed. I was reading The Curse for True Love and I finished that yesterday. I'm slightly sad. I feel like there was a lot of questions that I still have about the ending of that book, but I still very much enjoyed it. So I'm not like, like, I feel like a lot of people were disappointed. I'm not really disappointed. I still really enjoyed it, but there's just some things that I was just confused. Like, I feel like I was like waiting for things to come back into play and they never did. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just like dense. And I was a little bit confused with some of the stuff that happened. Also started the Lost Hero, um, which is the first book in the second Percy Jackson series. Cause I read the first Percy Jackson series. I love the Lost Hero. I've read the series before, so it's not like new to me, but it's so good. Hopefully this ends up looking like how it's supposed to look. We'll see. I am now back to working on the sky. Um, I don't know when the last time I showed it was, but this is how much I have done. Finished the tapestry. This one took forever, but it's done. I'm seeing my brother today. He's not going to be at our Christmas 
so I have to give it to him today. Yeah, it's super long actually. Hopefully they like it. It doesn't look exactly like the picture that I was trying to make it look like, but close enough, so I really don't care. So I am in the sewing mood, and when I'm in the sewing mood, I can't deny it. So we're making this dress for my sister. Well, I'm just showing you the fabric. It's going to be a dress. It's going to be a square neck, puff sleeve, tiered dress. So similar to the one that I made in my roommate. Hopefully you remember what I did. I mostly wrote it down, but. Finally have finished making this. I have like a couple ends to weave in, but oh man, it took a very long time.